Hello everyone, my name is Rob Tidal. Uh, I'm the creator of BlenderPG.com and the writer of the upcoming ebook Creating 3D Environments in Blender. This is a short video introduction for the book. Uh, I will explain who I am and why I wrote this book. And I hope this helps you for when you're going to read this book. Uh, well, my name is Rob, I'm 27 years old. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands and you can hear, them, hear that my uh, Dutch uh, nice accent. Behind me is a nice uh, looking environment scene with a lot of mist. Uh, <laughs> so I thought it was a great location, but probably not. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm working with Blender for, I think now for seven, eight years and I really like it. Uh, a couple of years ago, I started creating 3D tutorials. Uh, to inspire new people and learning techniques uh, and the past year I started working on a new project the Golden Age experience uh, what will be released in the next year 2014 it's where the Oculus Rift is a pretty exciting project uh, but I also thought it will be cool to create an ebook uh, and in that ebook I like to reveal some nice techniques that I learned in the past two years what will help you to improve your uh, 3D environments. So that brings me to the book, uh, why I wrote it and uh, what I think about it. <laughs> so uh, the reason was uh, simply, uh, a couple of years ago I started working with 3D paintings from old Dutch masters like Vermeer, van der Heide and Rembrandt. They were Dutch painting masters and they created beautiful environments and I started studying these works and they were amazing and I thought is it possible to use some of their techniques in my tree environment and that's what I did I tried to learn it and I tried to understand what they were doing and I put it in my environments and it pretty worked out well and six months ago I thought I'd like to write a book about it not only about these painting masses I'm also creating uh, scenes uh, and telling things about inspiration but I'm focusing on the techniques from the old masses and that's I think the main subject so the reason also why I'm creating this video is like to explain uh, why you should read it or why you not should read it because uh, this book will not explain everything about creating environments and I'm going I like to going into that point um, what I will not do is explaining uh, how to do every single step to make that see uh, making that whole big scene because if I do that it will be a huge book but it's very boring for you um, when I started writing the book I was I was doing that so I was creating a cube uh, make make it small put a texture on it and handling every step and after a couple of months I had that really big book <laughs> and I thought it was not the best thing to do uh, and where I was reading some other ebooks about the fundamentals of base, uh, basics uh, 3D modeling and I thought well there is already a lot of knowledge about it but I couldn't find good material about huge environments so I removed a lot of material from my book and I started again and I focused only on these very important things what you need to create these environments so that's what I like to uh, share with you if you think this book is going to learning you how to work with cycles it's not gonna work if you think this book is about uh, creating the basic steps of uh, modeling work it's not going to help you but if you already an pretty good artist who was working with Blender for maybe a year and you know how to work with UV mapping, how to work with, with modifiers, textures, all this stuff. If you know some basics, this book will help you to a next level. Uh, and why I think that will happen is that I experienced that by myself and I tried to put everything of that into that book. Uh, I have five core subjects uh, in the book, what I will explain, and that is uh, creating a fundament, uh, creating uh, the building, creating uh, street furniture, vegetation, or maybe you said nature, and lighting and atmosphere. I'm handling these uh, very important uh, subjects, and I'm showing how what 
what when I creating that what will happen with my scenes uh, and that's pretty much it so uh, another thing is uh, there are two uh, scenes that we're going to create the first one is uh, one based on a painting so we start creating uh, the fundament pretty funny creating a street and some other things what belongs to the fundament a bridge things like that then we start creating a building and I'm showing you all my techniques uh, how, to put, how to put all these details on that building and when we have done that we're going to the street furniture and we're going to create all these props that you can find in a scene and we'll handle that uh, as well uh, then we go into a very important thing creating nature in the scene uh, that is grass, trees, moss, bushes, flowers I will focus on that, uh, how that works out in, in a scene and how you can put that into it <laughs> pretty simple and the last one and very important creating the atmosphere and the lighting I'm showing how to work with HDR maps uh, how I'm, I'm lighting my scene with only a sun lamp how powerful that is uh, but <coughs> I need to explain uh, more of course about it it's not just that I put a lamp in and that's it um, and when we have done that I'm showing and I'm, I'm showing how I created that whole scene so are we not going to create all these buildings in that scene I'm just going to create one building and then the scene is, will be there when we've done that, uh, I will explain how we can create our own scene using inspiration, how we can get inspiration and how we can make our final environment. And that's very exciting. That process is really magic. Uh, I've never seen that before in a book, so I thought I'm going to focus on that and I'd like to share that with you because it's, it's really, I, I call it magic, I think it is. So, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Kind of a different book than you maybe expect from an ebook, uh, and I really like that. Some people will maybe say, "Well, this book is not explaining everything." Well, I'm right, so and I'm telling you that right now, so uh, you can make that decision. Uh, you may think, "What kind of clown are you?" <laughs> well, yeah, that's how I am. Uh, I'm really uh, always very inspired by things and happy to, uh, yeah, tell about it uh, to you guys. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it's up to you uh, if you're gonna, write, uh, gonna read this book or not, uh, but I hope you're gonna like it. Uh,